I'm Brian Kokoska. We're at Osmo Station Residency in Stamford, New York. So the show's kind of um, a further exploration of these kind of landscape figurative works that I started in 2019. So it's a continuation of a series that I kind of stopped. And these ones are more directly in reference to like Schoharie County, Delaware County, Catskill Mountains, Adirond Adirondack Mountains, mixed with a combination of the Canadian Rockies where I grew up and a combination of all this art historical stuff. So it's kind of just a chance for me to play around with these new compositions and kind of see, see what happens. And then it'll eventually lead to a show with some painting, some sculpture, some watercolor drawings. It's kind of like right up my alley right now just to be in nature and to be around these farms and mountains and just be inspired by the surroundings and stuff. I think for other artists, you know, like it just depends on if you may not be directly inspired by that, but it's like nice to be away from chaos and to be kind of in like the simple work mode where you're living right where your studio is. But for me, it feels like so directly linked, which is kind of really nice for me. I can go take a bike ride or go drive around and be inspired by like these daily things, which is kind of where my work was already going. It's just highly romanticized, these compositions. They don't, they're kind of, at this point, I don't know if, if they really are, but, and these references to like Munch and Expressionism, they're kind of these like subtle jabs at how to build compositions. And sometimes it doesn't really matter who the figure is. It's kind of almost like a serial object. I'm using like figures and landscape as this object to build a picture. I think a lot of it is to do, especially with painting, it's to do with the materials, like the actual like action of painting. And because a lot of the, I mean, it's definitely inspired by nature this time around and all these kind of rural things, but it really goes back to like that medium of paint and yeah, we're really working with like turpentine and oil and kind of these funny historic ways of developing pictures where today you don't really need to do that, but it's kind of nice to use these historical references to, to say something, to say something new.